we were very sad um, as a Republican congressman to discover our fellow Republicans not honest about the fact that a Republican president, Richard Nixon, left POWs behind in 1973 in the middle of the Watergate scandal. We come to Washington in 1981. We get into this. We know nothing about it. We get into it. And sadly, we discover not only that the prisoners are there still in Laos and in Vietnam, but every time we go to a higher up in the Reagan administration, who are obviously all Republicans, they're all bad news. With one exception, with president one, himself. The president was great, but the foreign policy establishment that Billy and I dealt with as young, naive congressmen learning our way along turned out to be, frankly, a bunch of criminals, all right? And the names that we ran into over the course of the 80s, Wolfowitz, Armitage, Cheney, even Powell, they became our enemies over the issue of what they did to leave and cover up the existence of POWs. And, and that was 80s and 90s. And Billy can tell you all about the, the Senate committee that he was an investigator for after he was a congressman. And discovering more and more about it, the very group I just mentioned, Cheney and all those guys, they're the same people who 10 years later, from 92 to 2002, same people cooked the intelligence to get us into Iraq. The same people did the same thing.